Thank uh, you. Let's talk a little bit about Real Housewives. We have Sonia Morgan. She said she dated Jack Nicholson. Everyone was like, what? Really? Right. Sonia said she dated Jack. Yeah, she did. I want to know, are there any celebs that you've dated that we would be surprised to know about? Anyone we haven't heard about? That you would be surprised that you haven't heard about? I dated Eric Stone Street, as people know. Uh-huh. Marcus from The Prophet, as people know. Yeah. Actually, this is I'm giving it to you here because they never really knew, but that. <laughs> Um, and I think that might be it. Dream celeb for you to go on a date with. Who are you? Said on Daily Pop, you're thinking about getting back into the game. I'm definitely thinking back into the game, but I don't, I don't, I don't really think about dating celebs. I like oh. dating businessmen. I don't Ooh. really want to date someone with an Instagram account. Okay, <laughs> so they're not allowed to have a social media. They following. could, but it has to be for a very specific reason, and okay. they, have, they can't be that into it. I like someone who's on the DL. There Fair should enough. only be one peacock. I, are think, you, I think there should only be one peacock in a relationship. Are you open to marriage again? I don't know. I don't, sure uh, maybe. I don't even think about that. That was just like, I just got the sick stuff stum yeah. filling my stomach. Um, I don't know. I don't think about that. And definitely yeah. not now. I, whatever's best for my daughter. I mean, I just love being with her. Yeah. And so I often think about that and how that would all come together. You know, that's the most important thing. But I, I like dating. I like meeting men. And it's just not a priority. Once yeah. you've had your own success and had your own daughter, you're not, you know, so thirsty for that. You're mm -hmm. not thinking, oh, I need to check this box, that box, the other box. You're just kind of You've living and yeah, and my business is very important to me. My charity, Be Strong, which helps yes, women I was in crisis. Ask. Uh, yeah, we help women um, with legal advice and mm -hmm. and financial advice and emotional support and life coaching. And some women are really in a very bad way and can't, you know, pay their rent. They're sick. They they're being abused. They kind of can't even just move to the next step to, to empower themselves. So Be Strong is really, really important to me. It's a beautiful cause. I mean, you've got that, you've got so many things going on. You talked about Skinny Girl Wines and Liquor. You've also got the Fresh Deli meat now, right? We have Skinny Girl Market Fresh Deli is yes. I make sandwiches for my daughter every day, and when I go through that department of the supermarket, it's kind of a disgusting process mm -hmm. looking at the, the sort of packaged meats, the way yeah. the textures, the sodium, um, they're not natural, the nitrates, and so this was a wide open space that I decided to enter into, and I'm really excited because the product's phenomenal. And you want to feel good about what you're snacking on as a mm -hmm. woman, protein's important, and you want to feel good about what you're putting in your uh, daughter's lunchbox. Absolutely, and I gotta ask, this just broke not too long ago, probably an hour or two ago, but your mother speaking out in life and style, did you hear about that? Oh, I didn't. But okay. I'm sure, but this is common, so this so, happens all the time. She said to Life and Style some harsh words about you being a guest judge on Shark Tank season oh, nine, right? Oh, wow, I'm sure. So she said she's not confident in your business skills. She, ooh, she's a moron. I, she's a liar and a shark. She ran through my guts. She will get along with the other sharks. Tough words, obviously. I'm not surprised. Leave, yeah. No, I mean I haven't had a relationship with my mother since 14, so I don't know if she knows about my business acumen. Mm -hmm. um, she did say that she. That I stole the skinny girl margarita from her, so she and Luann would maybe get along well on that comment. Uh, you know, it's sad. She's a, she's yeah. a, it's a sad it's a sad situation. She's not a very happy person, and I you know I wish that that would change and for her, mm -hmm. but I'm not surprised. That's happened so many times, yeah. and it's never in a really credible publication, might I add.